Hey friends, welcome back to my kitchen. Happy Sunday. Today I'm going to roast off a top round roast and prep some veggies to go with it. Um, I'm gonna let it completely cool after it's fully cooked and I'm gonna slice that up and I'm gonna use that same roast for three different meals throughout the week. We're gonna do some tacos, some stir fry, maybe a grilled cheese with it. Stick around and I'll show you guys how I use it up this week. So now it's time to season the roast. I've got our handy dandy, my favorite, Santa Maria rub. You can find this recipe on certifiedangusbeef.com. I'm going to heavily season my top round roast with this, season up my vegetables with some olive oil and some other seasoning, and I'll show you guys how we roast it off. So I've got my vegetables seasoned. This is gonna be the bed for my roast. And I've got some hot oil in the bottom of my Dutch oven and my roast. So what I'm gonna do is sear it on all sides. Got the top round seared off. That's just gonna add another layer of flavor to the meals I'm gonna create with it later on. Um, this is gonna become tacos, this is gonna become stir fry, and all of this meat is gonna add such a great, easy head start for me during the week, my husband and I feeding two little kids. Um, this is really gonna set us up for success. So stick around, I'll show you how I finish roasting it off how I sliced it up and divvy it out into storage containers for the rest of the week. The roast is out of the oven. I've temped it and we're sitting at about 120. So I'm going to let this sit here and rest for a good hour, um, just to be sure that all those juices redistribute and settle down. Meal number one, tacos. You want some tacos for dinner? Yep. Yep. And some peppers. Yep. And, and hummus. And hummus. hummus. everybody. So I've got my beef, some shallot, some prepped vegetables I'm going to use, and my pan heating up. Garlic and shallot in the pan. the shallots and the garlic. 
you wanna have your vegetables prepped and ready, your meat that's already been cooked, have it cut the way that you'd like it, heat up a little bit more oil in your pan, and saute your vegetables, and then we'll do the beef. Make some rice, make a sauce, super quick. Quick tip about stir fry vegetables, don't salt them right away. Salt your vegetables once they've actually already gotten a little bit of color on them. The salt draws out all the moisture, which will make your pan wetter. And then your vegetables will just start steaming themselves instead of actually browning. So don't salt until you're about halfway done with your cooking process. So I've got my vegetables going for my stir fry. This has taken about six minutes so far, which is nice. I've been home for about seven of those minutes. I wanted to show you, I am not above this. This is a super helpful tip. Squeeze herbs, squeeze tube herbs. I've got some Thai seasoning and a little bit of ginger. So that's gonna go into the vegetables as I get ready to take them out of the pan and throw in the beef. Probably about six more minutes and we will have dinner ready. Super quick. That was like eight minutes. Let's plate it up. Night number three, grilled cheese. Here we go. So top round is extremely, extremely amazing to meal prep with because it's cheap cut but also it's so versatile. So, so far we've done, what, a stir fry, and we've done tacos, and now we're gonna do grilled cheese on our last night of using up this amazing prepped beef. And I will preface it by saying this isn't the best bread to use. You probably want something like a thick sourdough, but this is what we've got, because we eat this a lot in our house, so we're gonna use this. I'm gonna make a quick mayo to go with it, and then, we're gonna heat our meat up and get a nice toast on our bread. Quick mayo sauce, it's just a little bit of whatever hot sauce you prefer. We use sriracha and mustard. We're using baby Swiss. And our leftover beef. Butter your bread. quickly just thrown on basic 101 grilled cheese making. We're toasting some heavily toasted bread in an oiled skillet. I've got four pieces of baby Swiss on here. And then I will toast the other two slices separately and that piece will have the mayo on it and then we'll top it with the steak. oven just to fully warm the beef through and make sure that that cheese is nice and bubbly. Oh, ho, ho, ho. This 
This was one of my favorite sandwiches to make at like 1 a.m. after working my very busy restaurant shift and getting home so late on a Saturday night because of the dinner rush. You come home and you make one of these. Let's cut into this, shall we? My family's getting very hungry. This probably took 10 minutes from start to finish, so doing good. Whoa. You can obviously put as many different toppings on here as you want. We just really like a good, like, flavorful mayo and some pickle. The top round is so marbled with the certified Angus beef brand that even a couple of days after we've fully cooked it, it's still so tender and it took on the dry rub really well that I roasted it with, so this sandwich has a lot of extra flavor to it. Happy Sunday meal prepping.